Home prices around the Austin area have dropped year over year, but we are actually seeing some of those zip codes increase. Jeremy Knight, the Knight Group, your favorite Austin realtor. I'm going to go through today and go through the zip codes that are seeing the biggest decreases and the ones that are seeing the biggest increases. Also, I asked you as the fans, which zip codes you wanted to hear about. And so we're going to answer some of those as well. Now, in this data, I'm going to go over a couple of different things here. And I think it's really important to set the stage right now. When the Austin Board of Realtors puts out this information, I actually have to go in and pull all this data manually. They don't actually give it to me where I can give it to you like easy like this. So I have to pour through. So I appreciate the people that watch the channel, subscribe, reach out to us to help them as their realtor because they know how much time we're going to give them and energy we're going to give them. So I appreciate that. In here, what I want to tell you is they gave us the percent change year over year and year to date. So they're two separate data points. And so as I go through this, I'm going to tell you the year over year, which is where I pulled the data from as far as where I made this list. But the year to date number is different. Now, keep in mind at the end of last year, we saw a fluctuation in prices up and down. So it is kind of volatile in the September, October uh, range. Real quick, I wanted to show you on here, if you're not paying attention to the community tab, I did post to give me the zip codes that you are interested in. So you wrote those in there as fans. I appreciate that. We will go over those. Also, make sure you're looking at my ATX Premier Home Tour. So Jeremy Knight, your Premier Home Tour channel. We're doing home tours. If this is something you like wa walking through and sitting in your underwear watching homes <laughs> in your underwear, this is the best place to do that. Okay, let's get to the list here. Let's start off. I'm gonna show you kind of the area I'm going to give you just some brief information about the area and what happened with the zip code. So um, through this, I want you to hear in the comments, drop a comment, which zip codes do you think saw the biggest decreases? Which ones do you think are going to see the biggest increases? Put those in the comments and I'm going to start rocking and rolling right here. So 7725 is the very first on this. As the So we're going um, top 10 negative here. So top 10 negative year over year. This is down 11%. 78725, it's over by the Gigafactory. And this is the Hornsby Bend area, 78725. Median price in this area is 304,000. If you're looking at my website here, there are homes in that price point available right now, if that's an area you want to be. But down 11% year over year, keep in mind, this is a zip code that a lot of people wanted to buy in for investment properties last year. So something to think about. But it is down year to date, 17%. So year over year, 11%. Year to date, 17%. Let's keep going on the list here. So again, staying on the east side, almost the same area because Hornsby Bend was right here. This is 78724. 78724, median price is higher than the last one. It's at $425,000. Now this is down 13.2% year over year, but year to date, not as bad, 8.5%. 3%. Now, one thing to keep in mind, I, I put out last week the stats. We're down on average down 2% in the Austin area. So this is Austin, not the outside. If you go to the MSA, the larger area, we're down 4% year over year. Something to think about. So as we look at some of the positive numbers, you'll see how it's skewed. We're only down 2%, but some of these zip codes are down 13, 14%, up to 50%. One of these is up up, uh, one of these is down 50%. Another one is up 53%. So you put in the comments which, you want, which ones you think those are. But okay, this was 78724. Again, 13% down year to uh, year over year, 13%, down 8% year to date. Next on this list, we are staying kind of northeast. We are at 78754. Median price over here is 400K. So this is just south of Pflugerville. Good little spot if you're looking over here, looking at the website, there are stuff in the 400 range, 384 range, three bedrooms, single families. This is down 14% year over year and down 13.7% year to date. So from January till now. So those are online with each other. It kind of, they probably was very flat towards the end of the year. Okay, let's keep going on the list. Drop comments below. We want to hear from you in the comment section. I'll respond, so definitely do it. Okay, over back to Lakeway. So you wouldn't expect Lakeway to be on this but Lakeway, a lot of inventory in the market right now. The Lakeway area, the median price is 616. Now, keep in mind, some of these actually get you know, tricky with how the data can be manipulated. If you have quite a few small sales in a month and not a lot of big sales, that's going to skew the data. And this is probably what we're seeing here a little bit. 
down 16.8% year over year. So if you bought in September of last year till now, you're down um, 16.8%. But if you bought in January, you're only down 16.9%. So, sorry, 6.9%. So year to date, looking a little bit better in the zip code, down 6.9%. Year over year, down 16.8%. Next on the list is going to be 78734. This is B Cave area. If you bought in B Cave, sorry, your median price is 791. It's a little bit healthier price point right now. Some little bit higher sales in there. Down 22.1% year over year. But if you bought in January, you're only down 12.4%. So still negative, negative numbers there in the B cave area. Still a good spot. I have clients looking over here right now. We're writing some pretty healthy offers for our clients over there. Oh, and by the way, if you are looking for an agent and want to connect with us, there's a home evaluation tool on our website right here. Just click under sell and you can get that information. If you're looking to buy and want to search homes on our websites, definitely click on there as well. All right, let's go to the next on this list. 78726 on this list. 575 is the median, down 22.8. This is that area. Uh, this is a good spot, really. Uh, we had quite a few clients buying this area last year because it's centrally located, and so you get to the domain in downtown pretty easily. But this area, the median price right now, 78726, is at 575. That's down 22.8% year over year and down 14.5% year to date. So if you bought in September, you're down 22%. If you're down in, if you bought in January, you are only down 12.4%. Good area to be in though. Still, I think this is going to be, you're going to see a lot of healthy growth in this area. Next in this list, 78737. So if you've seen this zip code, I am in this zip code right here. So this does not look good for me going up the list here. Uh, actually, this is should have been further down the list. My bad. I, I swapped some numbers here. The median price for this area, which is my area, you got High Point over here. You got uh, Belterra. You got some little smaller neighborhoods in here, kind of in between South Austin and Dripping Springs. You are down 19.9% if you bought in September of last year. If you buy in January of this year, you are down 12.1% in this zip code. Sorry to tell you, that is what it is. Okay, let's keep going down the list. Drop comments. I want to hear from you in the comment section. I will respond to these. 78741 is the next on this list. 78741, 366 median, down 23.6% year over year. A lot of people buying over here because they want to buy rentals. In fact, if you look at this, there's a lot of rentals in the market right now. But trying to get 366 does not look on my website, look like you're going to find much in this 366 price point. 366 down 23.6% if you bought back in September. If you bought in January, you're down 14.2%. So still negative, negative in these zip codes. What are your feelings so far? Is this just giving you anxiety? I apologize if it is. Zip code that I really talked about last year, I think is still a great zip code. Uh, because uh, somebody named Joe Rogan lives in this zip code. Lives like you know, if you want to know where Joe Rogan is, I know exactly where he lives. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, maybe unless you're a client. Uh, okay, down 42 percent, huge drop there. Last at the beginning of the year, the median was 1.6 million. May of last year was 1.4 million. Now the median's down to 895. And we are at 42% down year over year. But if you bought in January, don't worry, you're around 12.1% down. So not as bad as it could be. I mean, if you're looking at prices on the side of my website right here, 4.3 million, 4.8 million. So this could just be victim too, as well as people buying lower price point properties in this area that are available, even though there's not a lot. All right, next on this list and final on this list with the biggest decreases is 50.8%. 78703. This is that Terrytown area, that South Downtown area, but down only 10% year to date. So if you bought in September of last year, you're down 50.8%. If you're down, if you bought in January, down 10%. A lot of these on this are only down between 8 and 12%. Only one was at 17%, which was high. If you're going to be in Terrytown, though, the median really is still very high. But the what sold recently this month, this is where it could be victim of the data manipulation, is the fact that the median purchase last month was 884000 where really to get in this price point, you're at $2.2 Now, you can buy condos in this zip code for under 500 
even though as I'm scrolling on the side right here, you don't see anything for that price point. Okay, let's switch gears here. We saw the biggest decreases. What were your thoughts there? Now let's go to the biggest increases, and you'll be surprised on this over the year over year, and you'll be surprised on this with the year to date numbers as well. Okay, and now we're gonna go up the, up the list of the ones that saw the biggest price increase year over year. Keep in mind the year to date numbers are going to be interesting on this. So 78732, this is the Steiner Ranch area. Steiner Ranch, if you wanna be in this area, it's saying the median is 887, which sold last month. Looking at the side here, there are homes that all over the, pri all over the place in this area. 2.3 million, 960, 750. So price points are kind of all over the place. You can get some good stuff here in the Steiner Ranch area. But if you bought in September of last year till now, you're up 11.8%. And you're thinking that is awesome. But if you're that person that bought in January, you were down 15.9%. This is why I don't understand how our data is all over the place. Uh, it can be manipulated. September probably saw a huge dip in prices last year. And, you know, again, data manipulation. And if you buy at the beginning of the year, we have seen a decrease in prices. So year over year, you're up 11.8, but year to date, you're down 15.9. Let's go to the next on this list. Very popular zip code. This is up 12%. It's 78746, the Westlake area. Great area. If you bought in May of 2022, the price point in here was 2.7. The median price point now is 1.8. It's crazy to think that it dropped that much. 77.46 is up 12% year over year from September, but down 11% since January. See, this is what I'm saying, data manipulation, data manipulation. So when you have Reventure out there telling you one thing or the other, at least I'm giving you the data on both sides. 78721 is the next on here. 78721 is going to take us to the east side. Now you would think I was talking about east side prices that, this would probably be a lower price point in the 300s. You would be wrong because the median price sold in September was 649, which is actually on pace for what we saw in May of last year. May of last year was 643, interesting enough. So it's up from May of last year, but the year over year is up 14%. But if you buy it in January, down 6.1%. So still not positive year to date, but if you bought last year, up 14%. Let's go to the next on this list, 78751, popular zip code. This is right close to the hospital over there. You have the Children's Hospital on the other side in Mueller, so right across from Mueller, right next to Texas University of Texas. Good spot next to Hancock uh, Golf Course. 78751 is at a million dollar price point right now. And so if you've said, Jeremy, you keep saying the year to date numbers or the year over year numbers are positive on here, but the year to date numbers are negative. Well, here's one that is different. The year over year numbers are up 23.8% and the negative, and it is not negative year to date. So if you bought in September, you're in good shape. If you bought in January, you're in good shape. You're still up 6.9%. So this is one of those zip codes that's positive, positive. So this is a great zip code if you bought in. Now, the next zip code is a very popular zip code, one of my favorite zip codes. This is a 78704 zip code. This is the life of Austin right here. This is what people do when they go to Austin. They come over and go to SoCo. Me, I go over to Cosmic Coffee. Good, my favorite spot. 887 is a median to be over here right now. Now, if you look on here, there I've been showing homes on my tours channel and the three to four million dollar price point just to buy a place over off Clawson right now two bed three bath is going to run you 750 so that's actually not too bad you might consider that one but up 27.7 percent year over year so if you bought back in september you are looking positive if you bought in january don't worry you're only down 1.7 percent so not too bad overall for 78704. You're up year over year, down slightly year to date, but in good shape. Okay, let's go to 78750. What are you thinking so far? I want to hear from you in the comments section. Uh, all right, so uh, are you up, up on this? Do you think that uh, do you think the health of Austin is still good? I want to hear from you. Okay, so next on this list, 78750. If you're looking at buying in there, the median price for what sold last month was 702,000 up. 31.2%. And you're thinking, Jeremy, that means that the year-to-date numbers must be positive. Well, the year-to-date numbers are all down 
12.1%. So if you bought in January, not looking as good as if you bought in September of last year. And that was thankful to a lot of price decreases. Again, data manipulation at its finest here. Okay, good zip code to buy in, still good zip code to be in. On the east side, we go. This is a popular, popular zip code, 78722. Up. Again, here we go. Is this going to be up and up? Is it going to be up and down? What do you think as far as year to date? 985 to get over on this zip code. 985, your central, good spot. 985 to be over here. Up 36.1% if you bought back in September of last year. Let's see, positive year to date, 3.9%. So if you bought over here in this zip code, you are Love and life. You're being, you're happy. You're not worrying about a thing except for when the property tax bill comes out this year. Oops. Okay. 78756. We're almost there. Then I'm going to get to the fan favorite. 78756. Eight. Or sorry. 932. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. I skipped. My bad. Um, I had a client buy a really sweet property over here in 78730. 1.65 million is the median price point. This is about the price the client purchased over here. It was about 1.7, I think right over here by the golf course. Maybe it was 1.6. It's been a little bit. Great zip code to be buying in. Up 53% year over year. So my guy, you did good because we bought back in September of last year. We, we knocked it out of the park because you were still positive if you bought in January 2.3%. So this is another positive, positive zip code, 78730. Great zip code. Of course, though, it is going to cost you quite a bit. And if you want to do buy a $14 million home, there are $14 million homes with the new, or is it the W that's getting built out there? The W residence. But yeah, if you want to be in the zip code, 1.8 million is going to get you in there pretty nicely. 2.1 million. Okay. 78756 next on this list. I kind of jumped ahead on, on accident there, but this is like the Allendale Rosedale area. This area, the median, median price point is at $932,000, up 53%, 53.6% to be exact. So up. But year that's year over year, but year to date down 8.8%. Well, hopefully you can uh, protest your taxes in this area, even though they're going to say you're up 53%. But you go, hey, look, this year we're down 8.8%. I can't do anything about the taxes. I'm sorry. 78736 is going to be the best on this list for growth, both year over year and year to date. So if you bought in this zip code, you are sitting pretty right now. Uh, to get in the zip code, you're looking at 616. On the side chart over here, I'm showing you homes that look a little bit older, but they're 525, 429, 950, 979, 418. Uh, median price, again, 616, up 66.5%. Don't worry, I'm going to get to the fan favorites right now, or the fan asks. So here we go. 66.5% positive year over year. So if you bought last year, you're in good shape. Positive 13.8% if you bought at the beginning of the year. So this is 78736. Held out the best. You are in the best shape out of almost every zip code. If you bought in this zip code, you're welcome for spending the time to share this list. Okay, let me go through the fan favorites because I, I wrote them down right here. Okay, 78613, you're at 460K for 78613 at 460K median, down 11.1% year over year. 78616. 305 was the was the median price down 14.1%. 78665 which I believe is a Round Rock zip code, 455k is the median down 3.1%. 78641 was asked multiple times. 78641 7 uh sorry 464 474 is the uh price there down 9% year over year. If there's a zip code I didn't touch, drop it in the comments. Say, Jeremy, can you pull up this zip code? And I will try to drop those in the comment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It took a lot of work to put this together and I'm doing this, shooting this on a Sunday morning and I still have my crazy rash. So uh, I'm still working hard for you even though I don't feel great. So thank you, subscribe, we'll see you next time.